right, I think I'm live. Oh, is it Thursday already? Wow, that's crazy. All right, since I'm looking a little bit messy tonight, do I say peace? What's up? Peace? What's up? Shalom. Peace. Shalom. Okay. Hey, I got old faithful back. Man, I got a lot of feedback last night with the ball cap. Apparently, no one liked it. <laughs> okay, so that was the feedback. What are you doing, Yak? What's up, man? You looked rough. Man, bad hair day. Man, I, should, I think that's what I'm going to do next week. Ask the rabbi or dear rabbi. So maybe we'll go that route. Okay. Now, how does that look? Does that look better? Or should I hang it out? No? All right. We'll, we'll get... All right. This is the original, right? This is what you guys like. Akala. Let's do a sound check. Testing, okay. testing. Okay, sound check. Hey, that looks a little bit better. I think I still see a strand there. Just so everybody... How's that? Yeah, everybody's like, yeah, that looks better. You guys were okay with the other one last night. Now that everybody, you know, we got all the complaints, everybody's like, ah, where were y'all? Come on, you're supposed to be my clothing people, my hair people. I have no makeup, but my hair people, what's up? And now I, I got all these negative feedbacks, but that's okay. I need it. I need to know which direction to go. I need to know what you guys like or what you don't like. If you don't like something, that's fine. I got real thick skin. That's what I need to know. If you like something, great. I have thin skin. If you hate something, then I got thick skin. Thick. It's like thick. It's like milky sitting out in the sun for like a week. Thick, gluppy, thin skin. That's what I got. All right. It is that time. It is that time. It is Thursday. Shalom mouth pagers. Wow. Happy Thursday. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I forgot to log into the website. Oh. People are probably like, hey, what about me? Did you forget about me? I'm here. Ah, oh, like Mary. Ah, there you go. What's up, Mary? I didn't forget about you. I know you like the hat. Happy Thursday. All right. Happy Thursday. And happy March Madness for those of you who watch the mat basketball stuff, right? All pumped up for your team. I, I'm in two brackets. I, I'm already out of one. My team lost today. Well, come on. Already? You can't win one game. One game. Come on. One game. I'm already out. Well, I suck at this. My other bracket, I'm doing it again, yeah. But this bracket, out. Are you kidding me? You can't win one game. One. Just one. Or two. You can't win one. All right. Here we go. Maybe I should have done like a March Madness day. Shalom, Alt Pagers. I'm going crazy tonight. It's Thursday. That means it's one more day till Friday. Yom Hamashi. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday. Hope everyone has had a great day and a great week. Oh, man. I can't believe how fast this week has gone by. It's already Thursday. Wow. I just blinked and it's Thursday. Wow. I'm Rabbi Yak, located in Santa Rosa, which is outside of San Francisco. Approximately 52 miles northbound. Mouthpage is an online spiritual community, and we are an online Jewish synagogue. Yes, an online Jewish synagogue. Yes, can you believe it? The Star of David. Can you believe it? Do I look anything like what you think? You're thinking either dark skin or the big schnoz or that accent from the East Coast and say booby, right? Or I have the, the dangly hair and the black outfit and the glasses. Nothing like what you thought. Or am I? Or is this exactly what you think Rabbi is? That's the best part of Mouthpage. You are who you are. There's no judgment here. 
That's it. Check us out every Monday through Thursday, live on Facebook and on our website, mouthpage.com, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're new to our community, our week now motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. They usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. If you're watching March Madness, put it down for a few minutes. You got 10 minutes. That's not going to go away. It'll be there. DVR it. Come back to us, and then you can go back to this. Put God first, people. Put God first. We have been going live now for 63 weeks, and we are over. Check this out. 64,800 diehard mouth pages like his, liking us and following us on Facebook. Holy guacamole. See, I got the game on over here, so I'm watching the game while I'm talking, so I can go. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up, mouth pages? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God, he missed a shot. Check me out. You can put it down, or you can have it off to the side. That's what you can do. Hey. This is mouth page. We're real. We we don't have somebody telling you when to clap and when to laugh. You can have the game on on one side and watch me on the other. You can multitask. And if you can't multitask, why not? I can't. I can multitask. If I can multitask, anybody can multitask. You can have three things at one time going on. Have one headset here. Watch this. Watch that. Come on. Come on, people. Multitask. That's what I'm going to talk about next week. Let's do Psalm 156. With all the breeze, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 With all the breeze, praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Since I know everyone is like antsy and they're pantsy, getting ready to want to watch some more basketball, I'll wrap this up, but I'm going to do my little spiel first. So we ended last night's motivation with without God. What would happen, right? Distractions from God, or distractions without God. So tonight, we're going to continue with the Bible, right? We're going to do some Bible verses. We're going to do Psalm 7. Psalm 7. Now, why am I going to do Psalm 7? So when I was looking this over, I was thinking about my day-to-day. -day. And I was thinking about, I was on the freeway today. Heading back from San Jose, California. Now that is a very far drive from my house. If you get stuck after 2 o'clock, it's a 3 hour drive. But anyway, so I saw this one vehicle trying to get in the on-ramp. And this other vehicle was trying to get on the on-ramp too. So as both vehicles were both trying to do it, one vehicle was going up, other vehicle was trying to get in front, other vehicle sped up, the other vehicle tried to get up, the other vehicle sped up, and this went on for about a half a mile. Now I was looking and it was about a half a mile. I was in the other lane, but I was watching it through my peripheral. And they kept doing this. Then I seen the one person's window roll down, yelling and saying, Bad words. This is a family program, so I'm not going to repeat what that person said. Had kids in the car and looked like probably his wife. Other person was by themselves. Freaking out, scared to death, going like this. But yet, still speeding up to not let the person go in front. The other person didn't want to back down, so they were doing this. Now we're almost to a mile now. That was a half a mile. Now we're at a mile. Now the entire car of all the people in it were starting to say bad things to the other person. Finally, the other person, after a mile, finally slowed down and let the other person in. But we're not done yet. Now this person started doing the old Colorado brake check-in. And did the little brake check, brake check, brake check. The other person had a slam on the brake. But the other person... Didn't get over. Cat, like, took the abuse. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? We can't get along. We can't even get in. One person couldn't just say, hey, you know what? I'll let this person go. The other person say, hey, if this person wants to get ahead of me, I'll let them go. But instead, we're going to fight over this. 
we're going to fight over this. Maybe we should be protesting car violence and not no cars drive on the road for a while. Maybe that's what we should be protesting. Man, did you? I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes today. I couldn't. I was just like, whoa. But see, I'm a free thinker. So I'm going to say things that are probably like, oh my gosh, Rabbi, yeah, did you just say that? Yeah, because I don't care. I don't care. Shut me down. I don't care. I'm a free thinker. God's made me free. I'm going to say what's on my mind. And, and I saw that and I'm like, whoa, that is crazy. But back off. Is it worth it? For the person who had their family in their car, are you going to risk your family's life for a spot? One little car spot? How about the person behind? Are you really going to jeopardize your life, yourself, or maybe this psycho in the other car? Who is not a very good parent, by the way, to jeopardize yourself? I'm not. I'm just like, you know what? Heck with it. I'm going to let you go. That was me. But it wasn't me. I was on the other side. But I was watching it. I was entertained. And I was just like, whoa. Whoa. Psalm 7, the Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Now, I say that because I looked at that car of the people in it were attacking the one person in the other car. Now, I felt both people were at fault. One could have gave in. But regardless, this one car was attacking this one person. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. So doesn't that sound familiar? Being attacked on social media because of a, an opinion that you might have. Being attacked. Being attacked. Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me for all who pursue me. All who try to attack me. God save me. Boy, I say that more often than not. Because... Life is going to kick you. And you know what? Enough with that. Evil is going to kick you. Life is a passive way. Oh, life is going to throw you lemons. And if you make lemonade, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be real, people. That's what Mouthpage is about. We're not holding punches. We're not. That's not what this is about. If we're going to hold punches, then we're not, never going to fix problems. We're never going to evolve. We're going to pretend like we're going to evolve. We're going to circle around, but we're never going to move it. So we're going to, mouth pages here about moving it. Evil wants to keep us down. Evil. That's the right word. Evil. Let's say it like we mean it. Evil is going to make that difference. Let's not do that. Let's not allow evil to, to have people attack us. No. No, we can't. I saw this today, and I, I, I just, I had to use that example on the freeway because I'm like, are you really kidding me? Are, are these two people really going to battle over one little spot? This person kept speeding up because this other person wanted to get in front. But this other person wouldn't just say, okay, heck with it, I'm going to back down. This person wants it. Nope. It's just the way it is. They were gunning for it. For, for that. I mean, it's not like there was a million dollars in the way and you're trying to race to get it. And even so, you could still split that. But for a spot, for a spot. I, I, I don't know. Maybe God gave me the gift of common sense. Maybe God gave me the gift of vision and sight to see that, you know what, I want to fight another day. I want to live another day. I'm not going to cause a problem like that. But I don't know. Maybe if you don't have God in your heart, you want that little extra space, that one inch. And I'm thinking, okay, so you got in front of that person. And now what? What did you get out of that? Did you get angels singing to you? Did you get the golden harp? No, you didn't get any of that, did you? No, not at all. You got a spot in front of that person. So what did you really get out of that? Nothing. You got nothing. Not letting that person in. What did you get? That whole entire car mad at you. What did you get? You got nothing. Both parties got nothing out of this. What did you get out of this? Possibly broken legs. At least where I'm from, that's what would have happened. A bunch of Italians would have jumped out of a car and beat you to death. 
That's what would have happened years ago. But that's that's what would have happened. What would you get out of this? Nothing. 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 Got nothing out of it. So number two, I, I'm going off on a tangent for a reason. Because right here, this has to be fixed. If we do not have God in our heart, if we do not let God take control, we're going to fight for an inch and a space on the road. For what? That makes no sense to me. I'm frustrated because it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Psalm 7 part 2. Or they will tear me apart like a lion and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. We cannot allow people to destroy us. We can't allow evil to get into people's hearts to destroy us. It is our job to do better. One of those people today should have backed down. Why? Because if you show kindness, kindness will kick the devil in the mouth. If we're not trying to kick the devil in the mouth, what are we doing? What are we doing? And yeah, I heard somebody over here say the devil. Oh my God, did you say the devil out loud? That's so offensive. <laughs> They're being sarcastic, by the way. Because we say the word the devil, we're like, oh. We say the word evil, we're like, oh. But we say the word God and everybody's just like, eh. Well, wait a minute. It's important to know that. It's important to know that kindness Generosity is exactly how we defeat evil. Evil is the word. Evil is what we're trying to conquer. Number three of Psalm 7. If I just go like number three, number four, it's, because, it's off of Psalm 7, so I don't have to repeat it, okay? Just want to let everyone know. Number three, Lord my God, if I have done this and there is guilt on my hands. Number four, if I have repaid my ally with evil or without cause, have robbed my foe. Number five, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let them trample me to the ground. So basically, that right there is saying, if I don't do your work, then you can let my foes trample me. Why do we got to win an inch in a parking spot or a driving spot on a lane? Why do we got to win it? What did we accomplish? What did we accomplish? What did we accomplish here? Nothing. We didn't accomplish anything. Especially if you have your children in the car. What did you accomplish? You just showed them that it's okay to bully. And then when they're in the principal's office or they're in prison, they're scratching their head and they can't figure out why. Because mommy and daddy just showed you that it was okay to do that. And, and we're scratching our heads and we're like, I, I, I don't know why Junior's in jail. I don't understand it. Well, wait a minute. Maybe if we pick up the Bible more often, maybe if we worship God more often, like I worship God day and night, and then at night I'll watch my show, I'll do my cool thing, I'll write my script, I'll do my fun stuff, but I got to work hard for God first, God first. Once I get all the stuff done that I promised God that I will do, evil doesn't even have the balls to come at me. Oh, yeah, I said it. I said that, sh that, that word. I said it. Oh, it was probably a little more than that show could handle. But I said it. I do. I have the courage. I have the courage to be able to attack evil with God. If we're not doing that, then what's the point? What's the point? We cannot allow God out of our hearts. We can't. If we do, all we're going to see is evil. A parking space or a driving space. I keep saying parking space. Ah, a spot on the road. <laughs> I just can't believe it. If they, had, if they had swords in their hands or if they were standing by each other, it would have been like a... The Renaissance era, 
or the medieval times, it would have been like two people jousting for a spot. Man, if it was the Old West, they would have had a duel. I'm going to take you out in the door high noon because you took my spot in front of my woman. I, I mean, that's how bad it is. And it's dumb. Dumb for that. Really. We're going to jeopardize our family for five feet on a freeway. Wow. Are we kidding ourselves? We need more God. We need more God. We need more God. We need more God. When somebody says God doesn't exist, that's the problem. Oh, the Big Bang Theory. I heard about that. The Big Bang Theory. I thought it was just a TV show, but apparently it's actually a theory. But wait a minute. A theory. The Big Bang Theory. I know I'm crossing the line. That wasn't part of it. I'm improv here. But I heard somebody say that. And I was like, okay, fine. What happened? Okay, a Big Bang Theory happened. Okay, but how did that happen? Well, this cosmic thing or asteroid or meteor or whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter because God did it anyway. God did it. Boom. That's the Big Bang Theory. Caused by God. But we're going to think it just happened. I heard somebody say, well, it was just cause. We're here because we're here. It just is. That's it. That's your answer. We're here because we're here. We just formed. We just morphed into people. We just morphed. We're here. But God doesn't exist. But we're just morphed here. Some people say, oh, monkeys, and then we evolved to people. Hmm. But we don't want to say God's name because it's offensive. Okay, fine. I'm going to say the devil's name because that's not offensive. So the devil wants us to think there's no God. Because if there's no God, then we have no hope. And if there's no hope, then we can beat each other up over five feet on the freeway. Do you see what I'm getting at? I'm getting at this. Kindness comes from each other. It starts from here. It starts from here. It starts from here. Love starts from here. Nice guys finish last. Whoever says that has no idea what they're saying. None. Nice people here. It all starts from here. If we're not being nice, we're the problem. We're the problem. Violence comes from the problem. We're the problem. We want to stop violence. We need to be the solution. Kindness, love, generosity, being nice, help others to be nice. That's how we fix the problem. We need more God and we need more people like you to start passing it on. That's how we fix violence. That's how we fix anger. We don't fix anger by over-medicating. We don't fix anger by yelling. We don't fix anger by being angry. We fix anger with love, with good words, with kindness, with example setting. That's how we fix it, with God. God fixes those problems. We need help. We need God. If we don't turn to God, who are we going to turn to? Other people? Well, I hope those people fall with God. Because if they do, then that's great. If they don't, then what are we turning to? We need God's help. We need God's help. We fall with God. Help is on its way. Help is on its way. When seconds count, we need God. When seconds count, we need God. When seconds count, we need God. The saying that I just used is when seconds counts, what? When seconds counts, we need God. You only have some seconds in your life and you need God's help. There we go. Word of the day, refuge. Why? Because if we take refuge in God for help, our refuse lying lips. Whew, that's a tough one to decipher. But think about it. Decipher it. You know what it is. E. Evil wants you to believe that God isn't real. Think about that. Oh, God doesn't exist. Evil wants you to think that. 
because evil's afraid of God. That's evil's arch nemesis. Evil doesn't want no God in the way. F, freedom comes from God, no one else. I watched the two cars today, and I know exactly. When I say, I was like, oh my gosh, evil wants you to believe that God isn't real. That's what I saw. You, use prayer to save you and others. Use prayer to save others and yourself. Gee, God will help you out of anything, of any problem, of anything. E, every prayer counts. Every prayer counts. Think about that. Every prayer counts. Before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. Healing prayers to Scott, to April's family, to Christine's family, to Bob's family, to Janet's family, to my father-in-law, to my mother-in-law, to Suzanne, to Ashton, to Tony, to Charlotte, to Vicki, to Liza's father, Laura's mother, Kenny, Sessie, Jeremiah, Jason, Brian, Byron, Joshua, Sam's daughter, Samir, Raul, Rula, Roger, Stephanie, Ralph's son, Greg's aunt, Sandy's family, Jonathan's family, Cindy's family, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Paula, Polly, Nathan, Nancy, Natalia, Sharon, and Amy's family. Amen. And happy birthday to Susie, to Genevieve, to Shana, and to Christine. And he ma tovu manayam sheva kem gamekai. How good and pleasant is it that brothers and sisters dwell together in unity? Psalm 1 through 3. I want to thank you all for watching tonight and for being the best part. Man, I cannot believe we're almost at 65,000 diehard mouth pages following us and like us on Facebook. I know we'll be at 70,000 by April. I know it. I'm so pumped. So thank you so much for being the best part of us. Don't forget to check us out on our YouTube channel, Mouthpiece Virtual Community. Check out our website, www.mouthpiece.com. Check out our Facebook page. And check out our Shabbat service. We need more Shabbat followers. Every Friday, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check us out. I love you all so much. We're on Mouth Page. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We also do way more than this. We do rabbi classes. We do conversions. We do weddings. I know you're not going to see this at the wedding. I, I, I promise I won't be so crazy. I will like, hey, you guys won't get married. You say what? Say you do. Hey, you. You do. Let's go. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I do it all. We do interfaith weddings. We do the whole gambit. We do it all. So I, I can make it easy too. I can just say, hey, you put the ring, you put the ring, you kiss, we're done. Let's go. Let's eat. I'm just kidding. I'll do the whole ceremony. But you tell me what you want. I could do it old school. I could say the prayers. I could do a new school where we just say kiss and put the ring on. I do it all. So check us out. I love you all so much. Don't forget, help others to be nice so we don't have the same problem that I saw today on the freeway. Help others to be nice. Help others to be nice. God bless. Lila Tov. I love you all. Have a wonderful Thursday. If you don't want to watch our Shabbat service, then have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Monday. I love you all. Have a wonderful night. Uh, hey, where'd you go? How did you get out there? Okay. <laughs>